the National Science Policy Network, we envision a world where science, policy, and innovation power a diverse, equitable society and a resilient, sustainable planet. NSPN is harnessing the power of early career scientists to enhance the public perception of the science and influence policy today. If we want our science to matter, if we want evidence to count, it's important to have mentors outside of your research area that can help you think more broadly about where and how your science is making a difference in the broader world. NSPN is filling a critical need for training young scientists as public citizens and making sure that we're enabling through that work, through that community and through that training to bring conversations about science policy, not just to the policy making table, but to the dinner table. And NSPN is making huge strides just in its first couple years in doing just that. Okay, so what is NSPN actually? NSPN is change. Impact. Inspiring. Enriching. NSPN is community leadership. NSPN is Actions Today with Tomorrow's Leaders. NSPN was founded in 2018 by early career scientists for early career scientists. And we've been growing exponentially over the last two years. As of October 2020, we had more than 800 members across 45 different states. About 80% of those members are current PhD students, but we have new membership categories for undergraduate members and for allied members, which allowed our network to grow in new ways. For me, one of the most fun and most rewarding parts of being part of the NSPN community are all of the connections that I'm making virtually with other science policy enthusiasts all across the country. Many of our members form chapters at their local institutions. Chapters bring together communities of science policy leaders to empower one another in their respective science policy work. NSPN currently has more than 50 active chapters across the country that collaborate on projects within their regional hubs, East, South, Central, and West. Being part of the Central Hub gave me the chance to experience what it was like being in a community on a regional scale. Even though we're all from different states, we all face similar issues when it comes to science policy. During a Central Hub meeting at the very end of the conference, I was encouraged to start a science policy organization on my campus. They also provided me with the tools and the resources that I needed in order to create that organization and for it to thrive. NSPN catalyzes my ability to participate in science policy at many levels. Asking me to pick my favorite initiative out of the NSPN is like asking me to pick my favorite pet. Impossible. They're all so great. But I will say, having worked as an engineer myself and someone that has worked in science and technology policy, that there is real importance to building the muscles and the skills around writing a policy memo. That's one of the reasons that I am excited by the annual policy memo competition that the NSPN runs with the Journal of Science Policy and Governance, as well as the memo writing workshops that NSPN has been putting on for their membership. These skills are absolutely critical to translate science to policy. Through NSPN, we were able to put together a science policy memo writing workshop. It was a great experience to learn about how to communicate science policy issues to legislators on paper. The annual policy memo competition is an opportunity for students to write policy memos on the topic of their choice. With my local chapter and the Penn Science Policy and Diplomacy Group, we wrote a memo advocating for safe consumption facilities to combat the opioid crisis, both nationally and in the city of Philadelphia. We submitted that memo to the memo contest and ended up winning, which gave us enough money to actually go to Capitol Hill and advocate for our policy memo. One of the really exciting things about this Wikipedia initiative through NSPN has been watching this community of young scientists engage together in sort of this non-traditional way of communicating science to the public. To date, NSPN has trained 22 wiki scientists. We have created 56 new articles, made over 1,700 edits, and our work has had over 13 million views. So a number of us who were really interested and engaged with this process decided to continue to have regular meetings 
via NSPN for engaging additional scientists to start editing. And so we've edited a large number of articles about a wide variety of topics, including the current COVID pandemic and relating to the election and broader health policy, water policy, environmental policy. NSPN provides tons of opportunities that wouldn't be available otherwise to early career scientists. Thanks to the NSPN Professional Development Fund, I was able to go to the AAAS meeting this year in Seattle, Washington, and present my research there. I won two awards, and thanks to this funding, I was able to go and participate of these ceremonies, interact with other scientific leaders, and work on my community of peers. I love that NSPN offers opportunities to meet throughout the year, whether it's in person or virtually. The National Science Policy Symposium is NSPN's annual flagship event that brings together our members to engage in important discussions, develop their skills, and catalyze new collaborations as they expand their network. In the fall of 2019, Catalyst for Science Policy, or CAS, hosted the second annual symposium. This event brought together over 250 people interested in how science and society intersect. CASP organized a full day of keynotes, workshops, and panels to train and empower our attendees for starting or continuing their own science policy work. I think this is an amazing conference. I think it's the only one that I know of that really brings together students from across disciplines. And I think we really need all these students to be active. And so kudos to NSPN for doing this. The 2020 Election Initiative Op-Ed Accelerator was an incredible experience to learn how to communicate science policy issues that I'm passionate about through local newspapers. Early career scientists have an amazing opportunity at NSPN to push the boundaries of their professional development skills. Whether it's writing science policy memos or op-eds, they also have the opportunity to push their own passions the op-ed that I published through the Cincinnati Herald looked at how technological resources needed to be provided to low-income children in Cincinnati public schools during the pandemic. In 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic brought a lot of fear to the public, mm -hmm. and a lot of it was surrounding the biomedical sciences, which a large portion of our community does have an expertise in. Within a matter of weeks, NSPN had partnered with the Federation of American Scientists to create the Ask a Scientist website. This is where the public could send their questions about COVID-19 and how they could keep them and their families safe. Over 600 scientists volunteered in this effort to answer over 1,700 questions from the public about COVID-19. When the world turned completely upside down, the strong community of scientists in NSPN were able to jump into action. Many states took notice of our great work and featured this resource on their official government websites. It was really inspiring being able to see our members that wanted to make a difference during these really difficult times. And I'm just beyond proud that NSPN was able to be a vehicle for that. NSPN has allowed my team and I to develop our own initiative based on the work that interests us and that affects our community. NSPN has empowered my team and I at UCSF to respond to the COVID-19 pandemic by creating the Clean Hands Mutual Aid Project, in which we create hand sanitizer with informational pamphlets and distribute it to vulnerable populations. Um, so we've distributed 45,000 bottles to date. Uh, about 40,000 of those went to people who are incarcerated in jails and prisons in California, and about 5,000 of those went to communities, um, specifically black and brown communities, unhoused communities here in the San Francisco and Bay Area. I think one of the things that was really uplifting to see was how regular community members came together with scientists to do this project. At a time like this, it's really important for scientists to get out in the community to show our expertise when it comes to the pandemic, but to also show and build trust that we, you know, all the work we do, whether that's science policy or whether that's research, I think most of us do it because we believe that that's the best way to help our community. 
The Cyprus Scholars Program provides a unique opportunity for early career scientists to get training in science policy. I am elated to be a part of the inaugural class for the National Science Policy Network's Science Policy Scholars Program. It'll provide an excellent opportunity to learn more about science policy topics and to be an advocate for education reform. I'm really looking forward to the NSBN SciPol Scholars Bootcamp to learn more about science policy, to improve my science communication skills, and to establish a mutually supportive network with peers and colleagues in the science policy area. I think one of the biggest assets of this program is being able to do an internship with a partner organization and just ha get a hands-on training experience in science policy. The first cohort of Cyprus scholars is very diverse and me being an international student, this has shown me how NSBN is true to its mission and provides equitable access to training. I'm really excited to see how much NSPM will grow in the next couple of years, and I'm really happy to be a part of that process. For all of you early career scientists considering a career in science policy, I want to say thank you, and your nation thanks you. The skills that it takes to apply your science, your research, and your know-how to translational policy and to action are unique sets of skills, and they're absolutely critical to take your ideas your knowledge to action for the betterment of society and the world. NSPN is empowering today's and tomorrow's science policy leaders through community, training, and advocacy.